Do you like being a slave and having a master? Some do. However, many of us put our mental health first by thinking for ourselves and not relying on others to make decisions for us. We know our own minds and bodies better than anyone, so we can best decide what's good for us and right for us. Scientific proof has shown us that putting a muzzle over our faces isn't good for us, neither mentally or physically. The people who told us to do this are now saying that they made a mistake. They're saying they were wrong. A muzzle doesn't protect you from catching an illness, and it doesn't prevent you from passing an illness that you may have onto others. So why are you still doing this? Perhaps because you're living in fear? Perhaps because you don't realize what you're doing? Perhaps you think of the muzzle as a new fashion accessory and want to be trendy? Or perhaps because you still believe it's good for you, even though you've now been told the opposite and you haven't done any research for yourself. Don't you want to know the truth? Don't you want to think for yourself? Those same people who told you to take the man-made injection cure for the illness of the last two years have now said they didn't test it first and they now know that it doesn't work. It doesn't prevent the spread of the illness. They've admitted it, but you still go and have another dose despite knowing this. Why? You felt okay before you started having doses of this so-called cure, but you don't feel good now, do you? What is it that you're putting into your body? Don't you want to know? Aren't you curious? Or do you prefer just being told what to do? Do you like being a slave and having a master tell you what to do, even though that master is wrong? The only master you have is the great creator or God or source of the universe or whatever word you choose to call it. That is your master and that master has nothing but love for you. He's told you not to have any other master but him. However, you haven't listened. If you have faith and trust in him and listen to him, then you would feel free as he intended you to be. You would feel his love. You've chosen to listen to another master. You've chosen to be a servant for an experiment for another master. That master doesn't have love for you, doesn't care about you and has used you. That isn't love. It's just the opposite. Please start to question what you're being told. Please start to think for yourself and not blindly believe in a master that wants to frighten you and bully you into doing something that isn't good for you. Believe in yourself and trust in goodness. Trust in love.